Hi, I'm Hi. Kristen Hahn, <laughs> and today I'm here with my assistant, Anna. And it's been a little while since she's been in a video. Yeah, since we lived in the townhouse, now we live in a farm. Now we live on the farm, exactly. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to come on really quick, not so much to teach you guys how to make macaroni and cheese, but just to show you that making macaroni and cheese out uh, or from scratch is just as quick as doing it from out of the box. The longest part of cooking macaroni and cheese out of the box is boiling the noodles, right? Now I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about the microwave ones. We still have to be on the stove, okay? The microwave ones nobody can beat, but here we go. You have to boil the noodles and um, cook them first before you put all the magic packet ingredients in it. So I have, this is a pot of water. There's just water in there. Water, it, the stove not thirsty. is not on. <laughs> okay, I'm about to put it on though, so okay. don't, 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 okay. do, don't do that. <laughs> okay, here we go. So. Um, one of the things, make sure that you have all of your ingredients ready, which if you're making macaroni and cheese from scratch, you really want to do anyways. So now I am going to start my water boiling. Okay. The reality of this, you're going to see, is that I could really start doing, <laughs> I could really start doing this. Um, from when I put the macaroni noodles in because I have seven to eight minutes. Um, but uh, just because I want to do this as quickly as possible, I'm going to go ahead and start to make my cheese sauce now. Cheese sauce! So, so um, if you want to make macaroni and cheese, <laughs> there's lots and lots of recipes on the internet. This, I, my mom taught me how to do, uh, I think I was probably right around Anna's age yeah, whenever I learned eight. how to do this. So yeah, I, I'm, my age is age almost nine. I'm going to turn nine in March. Yes. Um, but I, I, um, I don't really measure anything out. I just kind of eyeball it. That's why I, I, I don't know that I could even do an instructional video. Uh, but all macaroni and cheese is basically what you're going to do is you're going to start with a roux. Um, I'm roux. doing about half a box of macaroni noodles. So I'll put... Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Uh, make sure you always have a clean stove or you can't do this. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I do want to wipe this up. Let me grab a paper towel. Because if I turn my stove on, we're going to wind up with a butter mess. And butter mess. I would rather we don't not want have that. that. We don't want that. Okay. Do over. Okay, so <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start uh, melting that. So the first thing that we're going to do with our cheese sauce, like any other cheese sauce, we're going to make a roux. I want to get some water. Go for it. Um, and I, and that's really just a combination of flour and butter. So I do purchase Wondera specifically for my macaroni and cheese for my flour. It's really, it's just sifted. Um, I think I don't get as many clumps. Be careful of the camera. Don't knock it. Okay. Um, Try I, not to. Okay. Um, I I just I I think it 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 just blends better, and you don't get clumps. The last thing you want are clumps of flour in your macaroni and cheese. So with any recipe that you find, you're gonna go through these basic processes, uh, and then I'll try to give you some tips along the way. So I'm gonna turn, we got water starting to boil and we have butter melting. Anna just finished school today. Yeah. How did you do? I did great. Yes. Yeah. Uh, did you learn anything important? I did learn anything important. What anything important did you learn? Um, I learned that 
if you think you know everything, you really don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very, very good lesson. What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> we're making macaroni and cheese. And we're filming it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you're not on camera. <laughs> oh, no, it is whining. <laughs> okay, so the butter is almost all melted. And then I'm going to add my flour right to it. One go. Okay. That's a beautiful little tiny mountain of flour. It is. And then I'm going to make sure that the butter soaks up all the flour. So we don't want any flour left in. Yeah. And then what you want to do, anytime that you're using flour, you want to cook it for about a minute. A minute One is a, minute, 60 seconds. Yeah, and that's a lot longer than what you think it is. So, um, if you want, go ahead, throw timers on. In fact, I really do suggest with certain things, throw timers on it, even if it's for a minute or two, because um, a couple extra seconds could burn it and, and a couple seconds under could leave you with raw food. So always make sure that you're following times. The water isn't even boiling yet. Are you gonna be on uh, noodle duty today? Yes, I will be on noodle duty. Okay, here's your spoon for noodle Ooh. doodle. Noodle doodle. Noodle <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, now we're done with the one draw with the flour. I'm gonna now put we some need milk in. Some whole milk. Like you can use any milk, right? Yeah, I would use any milk, but I would use cow milk. Yeah, whole milk, right? Whole yeah, milk, I wouldn't use um, almond milk. Yeah. And I like using whole milk. Um, because it's like more healthier. I'm just not afraid of the fat. And I think that you get some good benefits from the whole milk and the fat. Yeah, like it. eight grams of protein. I don't need to pay for somebody to water down my milk. Yeah. And that's really what it is whenever you get 2% in anything. They're kind of... Yeah, they're just adding the water. So, I do like that. Now, okay, I'm using a wire whisk at this point. And this again is with anything you really want to um, make sure that your flour and your butter is mixed in. This is where the clumps. So take extra time to whisk it and make sure that you get any clumps out because that's the last thing you want to bite down into is a clump of butter flour. Well, maybe you want to bite into a clump of butter flour, but most people say no. <laughs> okay. So I want this That's to come nice up. a cream color. Well, yeah, it's a little different color because of the yeah. butter. Yeah, it's like an off-white. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause it's white. It's all right. <laughs> 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 okay, so we want this to thicken a little bit. Yeah, lovely. We're almost there. Yeah. Uh, be careful to use a low heat 
whenever you are cooking with milk because you don't want to scald it. So, so scold means burn? Scold means burn it, yeah. So you barely want any bubbles. At this point, you want it to kind of come to a slow. As soon as you start seeing any bubbles around the side, uh, you want to turn your heat down a little bit. There are a couple of ways to, to if, if you feel as though your food is starting to heat up, faster than what you want it to. Of course, you know, pick it up off the heat. But when you stir it, you're cooling it down. So um, don't stir your food too much because you're actually cooling it down. So be careful of that. And then um, the last thing that you can do is, is add something cool to it. So your next ingredient, add it cold, and then that'll help cool it down. So. Here we go. We are starting to thicken up. Mm -hmm. How's the water doing? No. It's getting really bubbly. I'm pretty sure it's about to boil. Okay, so I want to make sure that this gets to a thickness that I like. I'm not going to put my milk away. Just in case. Yeah, just just in case it gets no, too thick. Now I'm gonna start adding my cheese. Cheese. I'll unwrap it and then you can put it in. Okay, so I want to do a couple of slices at a time. My cheese is cold, so it is gonna start to cool down my sauce. I almost forgot to add salt and pepper. Oh, it's okay. It doesn't really need salt and pepper, right? Yeah. Can you add all of the macaroni? Macaroni to the noodles? Oh, they're boiling? Yep. So just all of the macaroni? Yep. I never actually, I don't think I've actually done this before. Just do it nice and slow. You got it. Keep going. A little more. Okay, awesome. Now what you want to do is stir it. Thank you. You're welcome. And we have seven minutes on the clock. Seven minutes. Okay. So if you're cooking macaroni and cheese out of the box, that is exactly what you're doing at this point, but you are setting your timer for 11 minutes. Right? Right. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. I'll put this, you can put your spoon there. Can you help unpeel a couple more slices of cheese? Yes, I can. So I am adding my cheese three slices at a time. We are using Velveeta cheese. Velveeta. I like using Velveeta cheese for a couple of reasons. One, that's what my mommy used to make, and I this is comfort food, and I do it the way that my mom used to do it. Two, I really like the way that it melts, okay? This is very highly processed. Break it out, slice it into little chunks, and then... Like this? Yep, and then that actually helps it to cool down and then um, so that I can mix it in. <clears throat> um, but it, is, it really is a highly processed food. So you can use a better cheese, um, one that isn't so processed. You just want to, when, when we're talking about clean eating and moving away from the factory, just do the best that you can. <clears throat> there are certain things that you're not, you just are not going to get away from. And um, I do not make macaroni and cheese a whole heck of a lot. So I'll go ahead and, and do this. Like this is the first time in a while. It is, yeah. yeah. You can do bigger chunks than that, baby. In fact, the rest of that piece, just go ahead and throw in. Well, Good job. So it really is always doing the best that you can um, whenever you're talking about clean eating. In my book. Other people, it's different. 
it's really make it what you want it to be and then you're going to be happy with it and you're going to eat um, better hold off on the cheese for a little bit because what i want to do is i want to get that cheese in and then um i want to put a little salt and pepper in okay. before i forget okay are you eating the cheese <laughs> did she eat the cheese <laughs> tell me oh it's tiny only tiny chunks. I can see it in your teeth, even. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Salt. Don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the jar. Don't skimp on salt and pepper. Always. Well, I mean, obviously, you don't want to use too much of it. But don't totally neglect it and not put it in your food. Food is going to taste better if you season it. So don't be afraid of seasonings, right? Okay. Right, I want to get a gummy bear. Okay. That's always my favorite flavor. So I'm just going to keep adding. We have 3 minutes, 38 seconds. We need this to go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 Gadget, go. Go, 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 Gadget, go. Okay. If you're following a recipe, again, follow the recipe. It's It really is basically the same thing that I'm doing. Some recipes bake it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not that fancy, right? Right. Because we live on a farm. Farms don't need to be fancy. <laughs> okay. We're almost there with the cheese. We got two minutes, 50 seconds left. Uh, this would have gone a lot quicker as far as making the cheese sauce had I not been talking so much. Cool. Uh, uh. Okay, we're almost there. Um, throw the rest of that slice in, and then can you stir the noodles? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. We're gonna put all the cheese in in time. We only have one slice left. <laughs> so then we go. Ooh, did you hear that? That was my knee. My knee just popped. I didn't hear it. Yes. Okay. Is that enough? That's good. Okay, and there is our cheese sauce. Ta-da! And we still have one minute. A minute, 30 seconds. Which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. This is a little on the thick side, so I'm going to... Just a teensy bit of milk. A teensy bit of milk. I love Oops. drinking milk. Oopsie doopsie. There, that's much better. Ah, oh, that looks so yummy. That's a good cheese sauce. Yum, yum. <clears throat> I think a couple more slices because you can never have enough cheese. Yeah, right. <laughs> Especially mozzarella. This isn't mozzarella. I know. Mm. It's cheddar or American. It's just Velveeta. Who knows? <laughs> my Torella cheese is my favorite cheese, but I also like American cheese. Yeah. Yeah. And I also love that mozzarella cheese is made from milk because I also love milk. 50 seconds! I gotta go fast! We'll right. just throw it in. You don't really what? need to. Okay. So, timer's about to go off. Beep. Okay. 
beep. So, I'm turning. It's not exactly one o'clock. I'm gonna turn the heat off on this too, okay? But I want you to be careful because it's still hot. Okay. So don't touch. And okay. then, let me go. I'm gonna go drain the noodles really quick. Well, I don't need that. I'll be right back. Hey, Mrs. Assistant, why don't you tell us a short story? Short story. Um, well, something that's related, kind of related. My mom actually made homemade spaghetti last night. It was so good, like, it wasn't like out of the box. She actually made the noodles from scratch. Right, Mommy? I sure did. <laughs> yeah. Were they delicious? They were so delicious. <laughs> Okay, so I want to make sure that all my cheese... I'm going to throw the wrappers out. So after. just like if you were to do it from the box, you would have drained all the water out. And then this is where you would be adding the milk, the mystery cheese packet, or just the mystery packet or whatever, right into the cheese, or right into the noodles. And I am going to take my cheese sauce. Mmm. And pour that right into the noodles. And this is where we say just a slight prayer to make sure that I made enough cheese sauce to cover all of the noodles. If I made too much cheese sauce, that's even better. Mm -hmm. So but let this all work out and have sauce. a proper ratio, please. Okay, let's see. I am gonna, whoops, I just Oop. lost some noodles. Oopsie doopsie. Well, look at that. Oh. I think that's a good ratio cheese sauce to noodles. If you're following a recipe, you don't have to put the guesswork into it. It's all gonna be good, but that's it. So that is homemade mac and cheese. Oh, done at the same time as you would do a box. Ta-da!